probably the most different for me personally was uh, actually karaoke culture. Um, oftentimes, uh, our roommates and classmates in China would um, want to take us to karaoke bars, and I'm very introverted and very shy, so it kind of uh, took a little bit for me to, I don't know, fully invest myself in karaoke. But uh, I'm not a I'm a journalist and a journalist. 我会说汉语和英文. My name is Alan Blanton. Uh, I am an architecture and Chinese major here at the University of Oregon, and I speak English and Chinese. I'm a transfer student, so I uh, transfer from a community college, and I took one Chinese class like a long time ago when I first started out there, um, and I just really enjoyed it, but didn't have room at the time to continue with it, so I just kind of threw it in my back pocket. Um, but then I transferred here to study architecture, and as I started, you know, kind of getting to know the field, I narrowed my focus to high-density urban living, and it just seemed like Chinese would be a great skill to uh, enable me to further research that. I started um, classes here at the U of O, did the first two years, a 100, 200 level, and then um, studied abroad in Harbin, China, which gave me a full year's worth of credit over one summer, which was pretty great. Uh, there's really no substitute for immersing yourself in the culture and using the language every day in everything that you do. Um, in, I mean, oftentimes just to survive, like it's, which sounds kind of scary, but it's not. It's really exciting and yeah, it just, it really pushes you. As I kind of dove into it, um, I really became enamored with the history of the language and just like the sheer scope of the culture. I mean, like China has 5,000 years of weight behind it. And um, like I could spend an entire lifetime studying the language or the culture and still just, you know, not even scratch the surface. And so that is also pretty exciting for me. Uh, my roommate, when I studied abroad in Harbin, uh, before I left, he gave me this little stamp seal um, that has like a, it's pretty hefty, um, it's made out of stone, it's got a little spiritual lion dragon guardian, but um, yeah, it has my Chinese name on the bottom so I can use it to stamp all my homeworks and make them very official.